Uh, if you go on to the website and look up the, the mural project there in one of the menus, pull down menus, you can find a map. Um, you can also just look for our downtown Hollywood mural project map in Google. So this is a project of uh, city of Hollywood under the CRA. Oh boy, okay, so there's a police officer. This is the only thing about the outdoor tours is sometimes we get a lot of noise. Um, <laughs> it's real life, yay. But this is still better than me doing a picture, just showing y'all pictures. Because behind me, and I'm gonna talk about this mural in a second, I just want you as I'm yapping at you to look at this beautiful mural, that, the, the texture behind me. So now we've been doing this since 2012. We have 28 murals. This is a project where the property owners and the CRA work together to make these beautiful murals come alive. So we have to be super thankful for all of our property owners down here because without them, it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. So we have a lot of lovely murals. A lot of them are um, done by locals, but we do have national and international muralists in this project. And it's a nice mix of all different types of people. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this mural that's right behind me. And this was, um, this was uh, done, I think in February. So I'm just gonna flip y'all around. Flipping, there we go. Oh, and I'm gonna take you back here so you can see like the full, the full mural. So is everybody seeing this? How beautiful. So this mural is on the American Legion. And it was done by Joel Blenz. And Joel Blenz is from New York. And his fiance actually has a mural. They're artists and they work together a lot. And his fiance has a mural that I'll show you in a little bit named Alice. Joel was in the military. So when the American Legion wanted to do a mural, um, I thought this would be a good fit. I have a database of artists that I work with. And um, when I know somebody is specifically looking for something or has unique qualifications, uh, I always kind of try to utilize them and see if they're available. And a lot of people come to Miami for other, other jobs. So luckily hey, we get to muted. Can you hear the video? Hello? Okay. Hello? Yeah, can, chill. Can, we, can, we hear you. You're fine. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Thank you. I just get confused a little. Okay, so, so anyways, Joel was in the military and he really, really wanted to do something um, to honor veterans. And he's a veteran. And the interesting thing about this, it's beautiful, it's patriotic, but what I was trying to tell you before is, I, I mean, look at the detail. It's very textural. And this is the only mural in this project and one of the only murals I've ever seen that has this kind of really, really, really rich texture quality. Now this stucco here, this was, was here before, but he just took this building and I don't know if y'all ever drove by the American Legion before, but it was just another beige box, beige rectangle. And now this mural is just stunning. When you, and you can see it from all of, across, right over there, all the way down, you can see it from Hollywood Boulevard intersection in Dixie, and it just looks great. And from far away, because of all the shadowing, it really has some depth. You see, as, as I get away from it, 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 it's starting to have all this rich depth. Now this was created with Lots of materials, cement, chicken wire, you can see the wire. But the paint, a lot of people ask questions about paint. And this, this mural was created with house paint and spray paint. And you can see it goes all the way up and there's the American flag. Super, super patriotic. This one was done in February, like I said. Now I'm gonna walk across the street cause we're gonna check out that mural. But as I'm walking, if you all wanna type any questions, um, they will read them to me and uh, I will answer them. So if anybody has any questions while we're walking, please feel free to let me know. I'm just gonna kind of scooch over here out of the traffic. Jill, now, somebody yeah. asks if um, you could, when you um, do the tour, give the address of the murals. So I can they give know. you, yes, the general direction of the mural, but like not maybe, cause I don't remember the, all of the exact addresses. So where I'm going now, and I'm gonna flip you around because, and I will tell you the, where we are. So this, this is um, Tyler, right here, we're at Tyler and North 21st, or Dixie Highway. So, and I'm facing, this direction is south. So if anybody, um, you know, knows where that is, 
But this is the next mural we're going to talk about, and I always try to get far away from it so you can kind of see what it looks like from a distance. And this is another one that was just simply a long rectangle. Just a long rectangle. This is a, a lovely, lovely mural by two wonderful human beings. They're a married couple, and they're naming it the Yumi Collective for you and me, I'm assuming. And this was done in 2017 with spray paint and house paint. And the really fun thing about these uh, two people, Michelle and Victor Vasquez, is that they had been dating since they were in middle school, or at least had been friends. So they've known each other since they were in middle school, and they've been drawing together and doing art since they were in middle school. And so it looks almost like one person did this entire mural but it's really two people. And there's a lot of fun details in this mural. You can see like an octopus tentacle right there, right? So it's a mermaid underwater. So here's the mermaid's arm and shoulder, and there's her beautiful face. Underwater with fish, but there's also an octopus, like a mysterious octopus down there. And then as we move further, you can see there's even more detail. So if you look real close, you can see that there's a heart in her eye right there and down here too. And so you can see a little better, a little more detail. See how there's a heart, a lot of detail, the reflection of, of the monstra. I forget what the last name of the, the plant is, but those beautiful, beautiful tropical plants. And you can see the texture, but you can also see a little bit of fading. And that is very normal for this type of work. This is outdoor mural. And it's just like your house whenever, you know, you, you don't paint your house once. Obviously, you're always seven to 10 years painting your house. And there's ways to make the paint last longer. We do put UV coatings on a lot of the murals. But sometimes, you know, things fade and then we get them replaced. So here's some more detail of that beautiful, beautiful tentacle that I was talking about. And you can see there's a star. This is the turtle, the turtle face little star in the eye and like I said this is a stunning mural but it looks like one person did it and this is one of my favorite parts right here this just this little bubble with a fish in it <laughs> so you can see you can see how the scale of this mural is huge I'm just gonna flip around for a second just so you can see the with me in context how giant you see how big this mural is it's a giant one so I'm very proud of them for doing this and when they finished in 2017 Actually, I'm going to flip around because we're going to be walking. When they finished it in 2017, it was like two days before of a tropical storm. And so they were like hustling to get it all done and everything. Oh, it was, they did, but they did a great job. And we're really, really proud of that mural, as we are of all of our murals. Okay, so now I'm walking towards Hollywood Boulevard up 21st. And I'm going to spin you guys around and you can see the most recent mural and this one was completed i think in may or june and okay. this is by the milagros collective and they are from new orleans and what i'm gonna do is cross the street here so that you can really see the full the full monty because this one is a stunner also but i'm you know i'm a person who's um i guess you could say biased <laughs> so this is can y'all still hear me good? Yes. Okay, great. So this is by the Milagros Collective. And you can see from a distance, it doesn't really happen so much on camera, but when you are seeing this in person, like where I am standing, especially this area here, it looks like it's like an optical illusion that it's moving. It's really, really weird. Okay, so this is what we call pattern-based a pattern-based mural because obviously it's made from patterns so it's not what we would call a figurative mural the last mural we looked at is a figurative mural because there's figures in it so so when I refer to things as pattern-based or figurative I'm also trying to educate and entertain <laughs> so again this is the Milagros wow. collection and look at this pattern work I mean look at all that they did. This is all done by hand with house paint. And there's just so much of it. And this was done by uh, another couple and they, they recruited a friend of theirs 
to help out. And uh, they're wonderful people. So here, here's their little at, Malagros, y'all. So you can see how fun this is. This, took, this, is a, this is a historical building, as you know, and this was the bus station. So you can see how they took the architecture. Like, this is, this is where you would put a bus. Um, and they totally took this architecture and worked with it instead of against it, making it actually highlighting the architecture. Look at how they highlighted everything. The triangle points to the lovely um, top line of this roof here and all these beautiful uh, architectural details. So this is, this is a really, really interesting, beautiful mural by the Milagros Collective. And now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna talk about that one right there um, in a couple minutes, but I'm gonna just scooch up the street to show you a couple of others. So I'm gonna flip around again. And if you have any questions, we have a couple of moments. So now I'm just walking east. I'm walking east on Hollywood Boulevard. So if there are any questions, if not, I'll just keep rambling because I have lots of things to say. <laughs> Jill, we're really lucky that you're, we're really so fortunate that the Hollywood Historical Society arranged for this tour. But if yes. we wanted to do this with our families, how would we do it? Oh, that is a wonderful question. Okay, so right now we're just doing virtual tours, very similar to this on Facebook, where we would typically do the art walk tour. So before the pandemic, we had our third Saturday art walk. And um, I would do a mural tour at 6 p.m. And anybody could attend. So that's going to start happening. I'm not exactly sure, but hopefully sooner than later. But in the meantime, if you and your family want to go on another virtual mural tour, because I do, um, I don't do the same tour every single time. So you could always go to the Florida Hollywood Facebook page. September 19th at 6 p.m. is our next tour. So if you go, if you go there now, you can probably see, um, you can probably see one of the older tours to see what it looks like. But it's going to be very similar to this, um, but just different murals and stuff like that. So we're doing that. But once everything resumes back to normal, we're gonna do the the regular in-person mural tours, which I, like I said, is, is pretty similar to what you get here, but just in person. And I wear like a fun headset with a microphone, which looks really, uh, you know, official tour person. So, <laughs> so I yeah. A question. I have a question from somebody who sure. wants to know if the painters who do these, do they have to get approval from the city of their designs? No, no. So while we're staring at this next mural, and this is Kenny Scharf, and Kenny Scharf is by far the most commercially famous person. He lives in California now, and he just had a show that opened at a gallery. He's super famous. But while we're staring at this, I'm going to um, quickly tell you how the mural project works. So the mural project is a special, it's a special project, and it, it goes under the CRA, and a resolution was passed to do these murals. So the approval process is that the city um, is, no, I'm sorry, the CRA, we have mural approval meetings, um, but it, it has to get approved by the property owner first. So since I'm the project manager, what I basically do is I, I um, work with the property owner and the artists and, um, you know, the, the, the property owner needs to sign off because they're paying for all the paint and all that good stuff. They're paying for all the materials, although there is a grant, a 50% reimbursement grant right now. So then they get half back. So <laughs> I know it's a lot. So the, uh, look at this tail though, while I'm talking to you guys. Look, this is all spray paint, by the way. Um, look at the patterning on the spray paint. Okay, so the property owner pays for all the materials and then the CRA pays the artist. So the artist gets paid and then does not have to pay for their materials. So it's really um, a partnership between the CRA and uh, these property owners. That's why we're so grateful. But everything is approved through at the final approval goes to the mural approval committee. And, um, and that happens to make sure that basically it's just family friendly content and nothing, you know, nothing that um, you couldn't take your kids or your grandkids to. And, you know, that's kind of what, what uh, our goal is, is to delight everyone. But 
beyond that, what I do is I look at the architecture and kind of figure out what might be good for the architecture and what artist might go where. Because there are certain artists that want to do specific things. Like there's certain artists that want to paint on playgrounds. They just like doing things for kids. So um, that's part of, of my goal as curator. And each artist is paid um, 1500 bucks. So if there's two artists, they each get 1500 bucks. And that's, I always encourage um, a main artist to bring a friend if, you know, or an assistant or a co, a co collaborator so that everyone, um, you know, it, it's more of a fair kind of balanced out. Um, so that's kind of how that works. Now, like I said, this is a Kenny, the Kenny Scharf mural. And he does these all over the place. He did a huge one in the bow on the Bowery um, in New York. He does these everywhere. Uh, and they're just kind of the whole full range of emotions. I really love this mural. It's super fun. My favorite parts are these guys, though, because they're escaping the picture plane. Like, <laughs> like they're real. Like, they're like real little mischievous little creatures. They're like, you know, they're going beyond the white paint. And then this one is super fun too, because it's like going on to the awning, right? He's like escaping. He's like, I'm going to go get a slice of pizza. I'll be back. So Very this cute. is, it's so cute. And we get a lot of, we get a lot of uh, selfie action in front of it, which we love. So if you do come down here, okay, so I'm just public service announcement time. Um, I'm really, really, really passionate about public art. Okay. Because it's a little bit different. And we're going to be walking in a second, but I just want you to see the scale of this one with me. You see how, how tall it is, how, how big it is? Yeah. So um, the thing that I really like about my, first of all, I love my job. Second of all, it's so exciting to present these types of murals to the public and you don't have to pay to go to see them. You don't have to like wait for hours. You can go 24 seven, they're out there and everybody's going to like something about one of the murals. You know, not everybody likes every mural, but if I get you saying, oh my gosh, that one mural is so cool, then I've done my job because it's kind of like a little bit for everybody. You know, some people, some people like certain things. Some people like pattern-based murals. Um, it's all, it's all different and each artist is different. And that's another privilege that I have doing my job is to be able to see each muralist, how they how they do their their murals because everybody's different some people project very few project though some people uh do grid system which is pretty common there's some people who just freehand it like this next mural we're gonna see is completely freehanded <laughs> hold, hold on one second one second i can't hear you give me just a second okay so i'm gonna flip you guys around Jill, somebody asked about the last one and wanted to know the spelling. You said it was Kenny Sharp. Is it yes, S S C H A R F? Say that again. S C H A R F. Oh, Sharp. Okay. Yeah. Your answer. Thank you. So this is an extremely giant mural by Alice Mizrahi. Now, Alice is the fiance of the guy who did the American flag, Joel Blends. And this is a giant, giant, giant mural. I'm gonna flip you around just, well, you can see the scale of this door. So you can see, see how immense it is. And um, she's used to doing this. She's also from New York and does a lot of this type of work. This is the only mural that has mirror background in it. You see the the mirror, and and this is supposed to be like a goddess feeding the birds, like a nurturer kind of goddess character. She does a lot of these, and it's like nature, mother nature, because you can see the leaf. Can you see the leaf in her forehead? And like I said, this is the only one that has this reflective going on. And what's super cool about this, if you come like maybe around three thirty, four o'clock, the reflection of the sun setting over her back kind of goes down on the to the alley here like like a disco ball you know what i mean like you see that pattern work it's really cool so here she is feeding the birds and again this is alice mizrahi and it was done with spray paint regular house paint and um ink black ink and you can see her little tag up there if you want to 
Do you want to find her anywhere? She's at AMNYC. If everybody can see that. And she put all these cute little, the Quaker parrots. Now we're, go, we're walking towards Hollywood Boulevard and we're on to our next mural. And this is also the only walkable mural project like this in Broward County. Um, and although we're not Little Wynwood because it's just a different style of architecture, Wynwood was residential and warehouses. And this is just lovely, lovely vintage architecture over here. So it's a little bit different and we're all, we were already set up with all the restaurants and the bars where Wynwood had to kind of build them up because like I said, it was just a warehouse district and residential area. Um, so we already had the structure built in, which is super cool. Okay, so the next mural you're gonna see is one that I'm pretty sure everybody knows because this one gets a lot of, of drive-by. I'm gonna flip you guys around again. So there it is. Oh, yeah. And that is the Fabio Honor mural. And it's really, really cool. I'm just going to get up here so you can see it. And like I said, people just sit here at this traffic light and stare at it. So Fabio Honor is from Brazil. And this is done with an airless paint sprayer in house paint. And he does a lot of these large-scale portraits a lot and this is Salvador Dali, Frida Kahlo the artist and John Michel Basquiat an artist so this is three artist portraits and Fabio had done this series of artist portraits for a while so he was kind of continuing on he has some in Lake Worth I think there's some in Fort Lauderdale he paints all over the place but he actually did this with a grid system and that's why it's pretty pretty tight and pretty realistic Whereas Alice did a more expressionistic figure um, and she just kind of did it freehand, but that's what she does. She does many of them as does, as does Fabio with this beautiful, this beautiful, this is like the perfect time for a screen grab or a photo. You have to wait for it, but <laughs> it gets there. So what I'm gonna do now is walk up close so you can see some of the detail from far away. It looks almost like a photograph, but it is not. And I'm gonna show you up close some of this beautiful, beautiful detail. So when Fabio did this mural, it was a while ago, a couple years ago, and it really changed, I feel like it really changed the, the, whole, wow. the whole landscape of downtown Hollywood. So this is Salvador Dali and his mustache, but you see, you see how it's just brush strokes and, and, and uh, that airless paint sprayer, right? But from far away, it looks, it looks so much like a photo. So you can see all the little detail. This is Basquiat. Look at those beautiful lips he painted. And it's just shading. These people are very, very talented. So you can see some more of the gradation. But he, he is really, it's re, his, his work is just so realistic, it's beautiful. All right, so we're just clipping along here. We are still on, on um, this is Dixie Highway or I'm sorry, uh, South 21st yes. Avenue, they call it. But if, if you don't know the name of it, it's basically the Dixie Highway part that goes north and like across the street is the South Park. So this is another cute mural. This is one that gets a lot of like yoga selfie action. And this one is by Nicole Salcedo and it was done in 2016, obviously. And what she's doing here is this, this gal is obsessed with tropical plants. Everything she does is tropical plants. She lives in Miami, but um, I think her family's from Cuba. But her studio it looks like um, like you would visit, uh, you know, a, a boutique plant store. It's just beautiful. So she's obsessed with these plants, and all this is is black paint on a pink background. And I think it's so fun the way that she kind of puts some of the Tohoe zones signs like in the trees too she was playing with that again this is the back of a building where people park this is like a boring boring wall that is now very very lively and like i said it's a super fun one i've seen so many yoga poses in front of this and it's it's a fun one simple simple and um 
just really, really wonderful. And she still does a lot of this type of work on a smaller scale too, um, with regards to uh, little gallery type things. I think she has something at Art and Culture Center right now, actually, for their Exposed. If you have not purchased your tickets for Exposed, still time. And if you don't know what Exposed is, please visit artandculturecenter.org and look at Exposed. It's a benefit to raise money for the Art and Culture Center using local artists that donate their work. So, so that is the Nicole Salcedo mural. And we really, really like that one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm heading towards Harrison on South 21st, and I'm just gonna turn down Harrison a second. So I'm just crossing the street. So the, the artists use many materials, but the majority of the artists, in case you were wondering, use house paint and spray paint. There are exceptions, like I'm gonna show you in a moment, but that's typically what it is. And, um, and like I said, it's a very, very difficult thing sometimes to do all of this work, you know, especially in the weather. Uh, that's something that people ask me a lot is about becoming a, hey, I'm a good painter. I want to become a muralist. And um, it's different. It's not the easiest thing to do because, um, you know, you're outside in the heat, you're outside in the rain, you're in the wind, you're in elements. And not to mention, you have to take something that maybe is like an eight by 10, you know, piece of paper sketch and translate it to a huge wall. So it's not, it's not just a simple kind of move as an artist. It's something that you must work at. And some people pick it up so fast. It's amazing. Some, um, some artists and some people uh, don't, you know, do one or two and decide it's not for them because it's not easy. Uh, it's not easy at all. Myself, I, I uh, still do some murals, still do some public work, not as much as I used to, but I also am an artist. Um, and so I have, a, I have a pretty good understanding of, of how things work and what artists need. Okay, so here we are at, by far, the most selfied, oh look, and there's somebody working out, the most selfied area for this point. You see that guy, he's working out. We're gonna go say hi to him in a second. So this is, um, we're on Harrison Street here. Over there is um, uh, the South 21st, and over here is 20th. So here we are, if you know where, um, uh, Hotsi Tatsi is, we're down from Hotsi Tatsi's over there and things like that. So here we are. This is a very popular mural. A lot of pictures get taken of this one. It was done in 2013. It's by Tati Suarez. And we're going to go into detail on that in a second, but I'm going to flip around. This one is a newer mural, and this is a collaboration between Emo and Remote. You see their names up there. And it's another kind of mother nature mural and we're gonna go walk down and check it out. So Emo did the figure part and Remote did these amazing, this is all just mark making up here. So all he did was just take one of those little foamy roller brush brushes and house paint and make these beautiful patterns, which I truly believe helps make this mural really interesting, especially when we get to the sun part, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Hello, sir. Just doing a uh, just doing a tour, okay? Not trying to bug you. Oh, I think he has his headphones on. Cool. Okay. So, anyways, so you can see this beautiful sun here, and how how it really really looks very three D, and it's all just paint. So this is spray paint and house paint, and this is all house paint here, and it kind of repeats on the other side. And now we're going to talk about this mural. So this mural is by Tati Suarez, and although it's slightly faded, you can see it's one of her only murals with this many figures in it. So there's six mermaids, and they go all the way up to like 24 feet, and she used spray paint, house paint, and her own acrylic paint that you would use on a canvas. You can see the shading around the eyes. And she's very, very well known for this type of work, but this is the only mural I've ever seen with six figures like this. So if you look at the hair, you can see the hair gradating from yellow, yeah. green to like yellow, and then to like an orange yellow. So it's like rainbowing down. 
all the way to till you get to um you can see the work so this is like the golden yellow hair to like an orange yellow and like, like i said it's a little bit faded but we still love this and look at the cute tattoo and the little fish a little spiny i forgot what those are called more fish look at that face the pink hair she's another another one that's like a super talented lady and uh diamond another little sea urchin there we go and look at this beautiful lady right here on top of a barracuda and we have our final gal right here so again this is tati suarez and that one was done in 2013 and she is from uh, miami florida so now we're gonna walk down you can see her behind me uh, we're gonna walk down and look at our next mural Oh. <laughs> so this is El Mercado Studios. If you've never been by here, I highly recommend, especially if you ever wanted to take some, they have a beautiful art in the window. Look at all this crazy stuff. But um, they have lots of classes and stuff. If you're into ceramics, you should hit them up. They're great. I'm like the art cheerleader of downtown Hollywood in case y'all were wondering. <laughs> Jill, am, are like there, uh, Jill, are there more murals planned? Yeah, yeah, I have about four in development right now. This is a completely ongoing project because like I mentioned before, it's like when you paint your house, you don't paint your house once, you know, you have to kind of like maintain. So if, you know, like, like for example, maybe that Tati Suarez mural in five more years, three more years, get so faded that it, they need to replace it, that they request a replacement. We have to paint over it. And I'll show you a mural. That emo remote mural that I just showed you with the sunshine and all that, that was actually painted over three times by the same artist because the building kept having cracks in it. So they needed, they needed to do that. They needed to keep repainting it. And they got paid, so, but, but it happens. It's just paint on a wall. At the end of the day, remember, this is all just paint on a wall. Speaking of paint on the wall, love this one too. These are like my children. I can't just, you know. Oh, yes. I can't pick a favorite. Okay. So this is by Key Detail, who's originally from Belarus with his wife. Uh, and they both were architectural engineer, uh, architectural illustrators in Belarus and got bored of it and started doing all these illustrations. And now they go all around the country. They live in the United States now. They have a little baby boy and they go all around the country and do beautiful murals. And because they were architectural illustrators, this is all pretty much done by hand. He did do a very loose grid and the majority of it is spray paint. But again, this is a really like, this was seriously, this is where the CRA office is everyone. This is where my office is, but this was just a beige building, just a beige building. And now it's a super fun, super fun building with a flamingo on it. And a uh, quick fact, I, I'm not sure if you guys know, but there are actual like wild flamingos down in Everglades National Park in Miami. I've never seen them, but I have heard and I've seen photos. So again, that was key detail. And now um, we're still going to be on Harrison Street, and I'm just kind of walking. I'm going to go over here. No, I have a and... question for you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you offer tours to the public or to, you know, to, to Hollywood citizens like every Thursday at a certain time? Like, how do you? No, ma'am. We only do the, the virtual tour right now. And, um, if you have groups, I, I can do tour groups like schools, museums, and like at the historical site, has, excuse me, historical society, but not for individual people. You know what I mean? Okay. But we do the, we do that virtual tour and then once Art Walk starts again, we will be doing the third Saturday tours every single month. So, you know, you can always go on that third Saturday night and go on a free mural tour anytime you want. But if there's something specific that somebody needs, like they have a group or something, you know, just let me know. You guys have my email address, I'm sure. 
<clears throat> so this is the Gil, can you mural. can you stand in front of that mural so I can take a picture for our publicity? Um, the one behind this guy? Yeah, just you, if you can go just stand in front of it or any of them, just so I can yeah. have a picture of you in front of it. Sure, sure. I'm going to do this one real quick and then we'll move on because um, this one's okay. just a real quickie. So the fun one, this is fun only because, well, first of all, here's your like historic, historical plaque. We, we have lots of historical plaques, but I, I know you guys know about this. Anywho, this, this is the only mural done by somebody who like lives in biking distance. This is done by Rob Robbie. He's an older man. If you've been around uh, Hollywood for a long time, like you've been to Red Tie Room and some of these other places, he's done a lot of the commercial painting, uh, Chocolata. Um, but he requested that he wanted to do something and he did this beautiful mural of a woman kind of like a fantasy on the Broadwalk. And um, the cool thing about this particular mural, I think, is it, this hair, this hair goes and it makes these really cool fun shapes. And he also did this thing where he wrapped the pink from, because this is right around the corner here. So you can see like he wrapped it thoughtfully. He, he helped incorporate um, the mural, the flamingo mural into his mural. So now we're gonna walk down over to the next mural. And if anybody has any questions while I'm walking, just let me know. We have three murals in one kind of spot coming up. I call it the trifecta. And um, there'll be a great photo opportunity here in front of the Ernesto Moranje mural. So we have three murals coming up, one by Roan, one by Ruben Ibero, and one by uh, Ernesto Moranje. And this is right where that parking lot is across from the Ramada. Um, if you're familiar with Harrison Street, we're between 19th and 20th on the south side, in case anybody is taking notes. So I'm going to flip you guys around again so you can see we're just passing the cigar store. And you can see the Rhone mural peeking out. You can see the Ruben Ubera mural across the street. And then the full Rhone mural. And then this is the Ernesto Moranje mural. And this one is a good photo op because there's nothing ever blocking it. The only thing you have to watch for is it's in the grass and, you know, you don't want to get anything on. Yeah, I'm going to stand over here in back of the turtle shell because I think it's a cool background. So this one, look at that, look at the detail. Um, this one was done several years ago and it is a sea turtle. And the sea turtle is swimming in a sea of leaf shapes. And this is kind of Ernesto's deal is that's Rowan over there, but we're going to flip around and talk about Ernesto. So he does these kind of, they're pretty realistic in a way, but they're more like surrealistic animal pictures. So all of his animal pictures from far, his paintings, his murals, from far away, they look like really realistic, especially you can see the turtle's face, really realistic. But then when you look at the detail, you can see that it's more expressionistic and has a lot of detail. Like this shell is just flowers just dripping off and sea life and these beautiful colors. So this is Ernesto and um, it was created with house paint and spray paint. So right here we have Roan. And Roan's from Australia, Melbourne, Australia. And he takes the photos of these beautiful models. So he took this photo himself. And he did this with about two and a half gallons of latex, you know, house paint. And he waters the paint down. And, you, and we'll take a peek in a second to see the detail so you can see that. But it's lovely. So, and he did project for this one. He projected, but only like key lines like where the nostrils were where the eyes were um you know and this is like i said no spray paint this is all house paint <clears throat> so as i get closer you're going to see more detail and you can see the detail right here i don't know if you guys can see that but like see the dripping from the lips 
And so he waters down this house paint. You can see more dripping, all the dripping right here. So he's watering down these, this house paint to make it more like a wash. So you see that, how beautiful that is? So from far away, and you can see the brush strokes, from far away, his murals also look photorealistic, like amazingly photorealistic. But from, and then here's his signature. Um, so that's the Rhone mural. And now we're going to just quickly walk across the street so we can see some detail on the Ruben Abera mural. Now this one is our oldest mural. And this one was fun because when he started talking to, see like it was done in October of 2012. He's from the Dominican Republic and this is, he lives here now in Weston I think. And this is um, one of the symbols from the culture over there um, apparently, which is cool. And I love the color palette that Ruben picked. And if you look, this is all stuff that you can do on the Broadwalk um, or downtown Hollywood. So it's like music and those, those fun bikes. But look at the color palette and notice <clears throat> that orange. You see the orange that he's using, this brick orange? He used that because it's the color of the hotel. You see, so instead of using like a black outline, he's using this, this brick red to make it very cohesive with the hotel so it doesn't stick out. So it looks like it goes with it. So that's Ruben Ibera. And now we're coming to the last mural. And then I'm gonna open it up for any other questions. And by <laughs> far, this isn't all the murals. There's many more murals, <clears throat> but but I usually do about an hour tour for everyone and I always mix it up. We have a bunch of murals on Tyler Street that y'all haven't seen. So I encourage you to, to come to Facebook and watch the live mural tour September 19th at 6 p.m. Or when um, in the winter time, it's really nice. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do live mural tours. And if you come in a January or February, it's lovely. So here we are at the last mural. This one <clears throat> is by the London police. And the London police are originally from London, England. And they live in Amsterdam now. And they usually travel everywhere all the time. But because of <clears throat> COVID, they're, they're in Amsterdam working in their studio doing silly things. These are by far the silliest people that I have ever worked with, with regards to a muralist. Um, so the London police is Chaz and Bob, and Chaz was another architectural illustrator. So I'm gonna zoom you in here so you can see the detail. It's a little faded, but I think it still looks good. <clears throat> it was done in 2014. So you see all the detail here? So what this is, is it is an aquarium and a robot is taking care of it. There's a lot of murals, obviously, we're about a mile from the beach, so there's a lot of murals that have to do with the ocean. And you see all the little smiley guys, that's Chaz's thing, and then Bob is, was the art, architectural illustrator. So he's making sure it's all fixed and good, and so there's all these cute little things swimming in the aquarium, and there's little astronauts going in the aquarium to make sure everything is good. And extra super bonus, they use Miami Dolphins colors for that hometown you know, that hometown spirit. And look at the detail on this, though. I mean, it's just ridiculous how detailed they get. So this is a favorite of children, obviously, because the ground and there's all this detail, so you can just totally walk up to it and looks, it's a little faded, but we still love it. Imagine that within the next couple of years, it will be replaced. Jill, we sort of lost you. Jill? Can you hear me now? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Can you hear me? 
Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now we can. Okay. So, okay, great. Okay. So I'm really, I'm really thankful that everybody joins me today for this mural tour. And like I said, on um, September 19th at 6 p.m., if you go to Facebook, just click on the Facebook Live, and there'll be more information about it. If you want to write to me, I'm Jay, as in Jack, Weisberg, W-E-I-S-B-E-R-G, at HollywoodFL, as in Florida, .org, and you can write me and ask me any questions if you need more information about anything. Um, and again, I really appreciate you guys coming out today, and I look forward to giving you guys um, a tour in person, hopefully sooner than later, because it's one of my, my favorite things that I, I love to do, to ed educate and entertain. What is it? Ed edutainment, I think they call it. And I, I really, really do enjoy it. So I appreciate, I appreciate you guys requesting a tour. I appreciate everybody showing up today. And I hope to see everybody soon. Does anybody have any final questions or anything for me before I skedaddle? Uh, Jill, I just problem? unmuted everybody. And okay. so hopefully if anyone has a question, they can ask you. We're getting a lot of thank yous, a lot of great tour, Jill. Okay, Good. but um, everyone now is unmuted and we can see Hi. everyone. So make yeah. sure you want to be seen, everybody, because we can see you. Okay, and um, anyone who has questions for Jill should ask her directly right now. Yeah. Do you have I mean, any problem with vandalism? Yeah, we do. We don't have a problem. Like, it's not like Miami. We do get occasional little here and there things. But, you know, for the most part, we're, I'm so grateful. We're very lucky. We don't, we do not have a problem with it. We, you know, not more than a normal situation down here. You know, it's not bad at all. I'm, when I go down to Miami and I see all their beautiful murals tagged, I, I am always grateful. Anybody else? Yeah. Hey, Jill, this is Beam Fur. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing nice good. Nice to see you. You too. Uh, I, I, ever since uh, you've been part of this since 2012. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to say you've done a great job. Oh, thank you, know, you so much. It's very kind. Yeah, I mean, you, you started, I think we were on the first uh, selection committee together. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and what I've seen is I've really had a chance to see the quality go up and up and up. You, Thank do you, you. Do you feel the same way that you're getting? Yes. Yes, I do. I really do. And what I'm really excited about is just because murals have become more commonplace. Like we're not by far, we're not the only municipality that has a, a mural project, but because <clears throat> it's more commonplace, there are so many, so much talent locally that I can call upon. It's wonderful. And I love right. using the local talent and I love the occasional, Hey, I'm going to be in town from this day to this day, do you want me to come do a mural for you? Like I have those people that hit me up too because I still, you know, deal with the national and international mural community, community all the time. They're like my friends. So it's like, I see them, I know them and I hit them up. So it is, and it's, and the other thing that I really, really, really enjoy is that the property owners now here take, they really take ownership. They love it. They love their mural, they get it. When we first started, it was a harder sell. But now people clamor for them. They want the murals. They want to spend the, the money and, and stuff to get the mural made. And that, to me, it just shows that people understand what we're doing, why we're doing, and why it's so important to have this type of high-quality public art, right. you know, in Broward County, yeah. in Broward County. You know what well, I mean? Like, because we don't have something like this anywhere else in Broward County. Well, as you probably remember, this was a hard sell back in 2012. I do, uh, I do we, remember. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. It, it, it was, it, nobody wanted a mural anywhere. Nope, and, no, because they, they, they didn't, they, they needed to be educated and entertained <laughs> to right. figure it out. Right, but we managed to get it through and uh, I, I, I also look at it kind of like these are my babies as well. So, <laughs> oh, good. Uh, yeah, I still do. Uh, well, I would love to take you and the commissioners when, when we can, if you want to do a Zoom or an in-person, whenever it's safe to do so, would love to do a mural tour for y'all. Well, Keep I actually live, I only live a block away, so I ride my bike around oh, them all, yay. all the time. See, I love that too. I love the locals give me such great feedback. It just makes my day whenever I see a local person um, and they just, they know who I am or they see me during a tour and they pop in and they say like how great it is and how they show them off to their friends. I'm like, that, that makes me really proud. Yeah, I mean, you know, I actually, I, I've actually enjoyed talking with the painters when they're doing it, oh, and, for sure. which is pretty cool, and that's, that's a nice. But anyway, 
you know, it's been a long time. I know you've been here from the get-go mm -hmm. uh, in 2012. And just want to really thank you very much. You've done oh, a great job. Oh, it is my, my absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Jill, it's Karen from the Historical Society. Hi, Karen. Hi, thank you. You're doing an absolutely phenomenal job. And I'd like to invite you to do your video at our next year, one of our next year's lectures. Mm -hmm. We can plan that. I know we missed it this time. So um, I'd love to have you do it at the Sterling Road Library next year sometime. Okay, for sure. Very good. For sure. Thank you. For sure. Thank you. Does anybody else have any other questions or comments or anything like that? Karen, Commissioner um, Fur just um, made me think of something. Is yeah. there any way that you can announce when a um, mural list is working and we can come Oh, I do. Of course. If you are on social media, okay, so if you go to at Florida's Hollywood on Instagram, or if you go to at Florida's Hollywood on Facebook and kind of, or Downtown Hollywood Mural Project on Facebook. So there's three ways. And we're also on Twitter somewhere. Anyways, point is, if you're on social media and you're following us at Florida's Hollywood, you will see, especially if you look at the stories, if everybody knows what the stories are on Facebook and Instagram, catch up with us uh, and you will know. I announce it, I say, watch this wall, there's a picture and there's lots of pictures. That's part of it too, because I want to engage the public when we're doing a mural. And that's one of the great things that if we're doing a mural, when I'm doing the mural tour, we get to talk to the muralist. And when you're doing an in-person tour, everybody can ask questions. And if you're doing the Facebook tour, I have to like read the comments down and ask the questions to the, the artist. But again, that's, that's, it's, it's a wonderful community engagement um, segment that, that we love doing for, for the community and for tourists and for anybody who wants to come. I would love to show off the murals. I, I, it's just like one of my favorite things. So I yeah, really, great. really appreciate, I really appreciate everyone's time today. Hey, Jill, where is the next one? The, the next virtual mural tour is no, no, September. No, no, no. Oh, the, sorry. The next, the next mural. Oh, oh, I cannot tell you that, sir. They have not <laughs> gone through. I have four in development right now. Okay. Um, all in the district here. And, um, you know, as soon as they, as soon as they get approved, I, I, I absolutely will put a watch this wall post up. But we, have, we have about four going right now. Okay. I miss being on that committee with that was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. It, it, it is probably one of the more fun governmental committees. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> you know? Wait, well, Commissioner Fur, I know that you really enjoy being an honorary member of the board of the Friends of Sterling Road Library, though. I do. I do. Even better. <laughs> right. So that's also, I mean, I'm not saying one is better than the other, but still. <laughs> two, so. two, two very good things. And the Hollywood Historical Society also. He's right. a member. <laughs> two very good organizations. Thank you, right. Beam. Appreciate two of my favorites. Okay. Any more questions? If not, um, I want to thank everyone for attending today. This was so much fun. Jill, I don't know how you made it not rain today during this time because yesterday uh, at this time we thought it was gonna be canceled. Well I said 80 percent so. chance and then when I woke I up know, this morning it was 10 percent and I was like oh good because I'd always any day would rather do this type of tour than than do just doing slides because I feel like it's way more impactful you know what I mean? Absolutely so I'm, we were I'm, not I'm gonna glad. let it rain so. Yeah so okay. I think the Great. collective energy we all did our rain dances last night and got it all out. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we have um, a lot of more, pro many more programs coming. Karen, do you want to say anything about the next Historical Society program? Yes, um, it's going to be the history of environmental changes in South Florida. Barry Fask is going to be our speaker. These are all virtual. Um, Sunday, November 8th, the ghost of Broward County Sheriff's past with Chris Mancini from the Crime Museum. And Sunday, December 20th, Clive Taylor, the story and virtual tour of the Grand Lady, which is the Hollywood Beach Hotel, which should be Great. a lot of fun. Okay, wonderful. So thank you, everyone. Um, and we'll see you at our next uh, event. Thanks so much. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.
Uh, Hannah? Hannah?